Here at SIBS, located at the University of Freiburg, researchers have access to modern infrastructure. One of the central buildings, located next to the Botanical Garden, is the Hilda Mangold House. I am personally very excited to be working in the Hilda Mangold House as a developmental biologist. Of course, I think the name is a perfect choice for this building. Hilda's discovery of organizers during um, embryonic patterning have been, of course, very influential in the field. The discovery of the organizer in 1924 has since made a huge impact on biological research. It was made at a time when biologists were just beginning to unravel the inner workings of cells and organisms. The woman who had discovered the organizer was Hilda Mangold. She came to Freiburg in 1920 to work in the laboratory of Hans Spiemann. Like him, she was driven by a will to understand the processes inside a developing embryo. For example, how cells coordinate to form organs and limbs in the right place. She was intrigued by Spiemann's approach he used very fine glass pipettes and human hair to perform microsurgery on amphibian embryos. After transplanting tissue from one to another, he observed closely how this affects development. Mangold used these same techniques on newt eggs to investigate a conspicuous structure of the early embryo, the blastopore lip. When she translated it from one embryo into another, this had an astonishing effect a second body axis started to develop. Because Mangold had used two distinct newt species with different coloration, she was able to distinguish the cell's origins. The second body axis was formed by cells from both the transplant and the receiving embryo. This meant that the inserted cells had changed the original fate of the surrounding cells. Mangold and Spiemann called this induction of complex anatomical structures the organizer effect. After finishing her PhD, Hilda Mangold moved to Berlin with her young family because her husband, Otto Mangold, whom she had met in Spiemann's lab, had recently acquired a position at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute for Biology. Tragically, she died of a household accident in 1924. She never saw her work receive its rightful acclaim. Hans Spiemann received the Nobel Prize in 1935 for the discovery of the organizer. With advancements in molecular biology and genetics, the value of Mangold's observation became even more clear. Her initial discovery had led to a search for the molecules involved in the organizer effect, and her experiments became the starting point for research into biological signaling. Today, the molecular underpinnings of organizing structures get unraveled at an increasing speed. SIBs is committed to understand the signaling processes that orchestrate multicellular life, from molecules to whole organisms. Mangold's discovery of induction in embryos continues to inspire SIBS researchers. One developmental biologist at SIBS works on these very questions in the Hilda Mangold house. My name is Anna Klaassen. My research group is part of SIBS and we have been working in the Hilda Mangold house for five years now. My research group currently consists of seven wonderful graduate students and a technician coming from five different countries. Now, we work to understand how cells cooperate to maintain and to create epithelial tissues. Now, in the context of humans, epithelial tissues would, for example, be the surface of the skin, the gut or the lungs. And of course, it's really important to understand um, their biology because they are right, highly relevant for human diseases. Now, we use the um, model system Drosophila melanogaster, which is the fruit fly. And what we are trying to understand is how they use adhesion and cytoskeleton to create organ shape, but also how they use these two cellular structures to actually eliminate aberrant cells and suppress tumors in these tissues. We are actually currently playing with ideas of organizer-like activities during wound healing. And so her work has been very influential to our current research. Of the major technologies that we are using in the lab is everything related to microscopy. So we use microscopy on a daily basis to sort our flies, to set up crosses and to dissect the small epithelial organs, for example, from larvae. 
but we are also um, really uh, well supported by the uh, confocal microscopy facility on the ground floor, so we have a very short way to image our samples and to really look at the different signaling reporter. I'm Roland Nitschke, the head of the Live Imaging Center at the Hilde Mangold House. The Live Imaging Center was founded in 2000 and uh, we are serving there around 250 users per year from about 80 working groups and six uh, faculties. The instrumentation here is focused on advanced light microscopy. We have around 20 different kinds of instruments serving the needs of, of the scientists uh, coming to the imaging center. Besides teaching and training the users on the advanced instrumentation we have in the live imaging center, we also teach people how to properly do their experiments. They get more or less a full service, they still have to do their own work, but we support them in every step of the experiments. The equipment in the Live Imaging Center is dedicated to specialized imaging techniques. For example, we have a light sheet microscope which is dedicated to recording larger objects in the area of mostly developmental biology, so plant samples, zebrafish embryos, xenopus oocytes or C. elegans. And then other equipment is more dedicated to uh, fluorescence lifetime imaging, which is named FLIM microscopy. And there you have, beside the fluorescence, you record different properties of the fluorophore, which allow you to even get better images or specialized images. We offer two photon microscopy, which is a dedicated technique to image deep into an object, one to two millimeters, so it's dedicated for brain slices or again embryos. We have different kind of super resolution imaging. One is STAT microscopy and this allows uh, to resolve very fine details below the optical resolution. My name is Björn Lillemeyer. I'm a faculty in the Hilde Mangold House. Uh, my lab started here in January 2021 and we are interested in immunology, specifically how T cells become activated during immune responses and how these mechanisms that we find can be used for future uh, immunotherapies. And uh, specifically, we're really interested in how molecular events happen at the plasma membrane. And to this end, we use a lot of in vitro technology where we use recombinant proteins to analyze these events in vitro in a test tube. But we're also doing analysis in T cells themselves. And for this, we use a lot of microscopy technology that we're doing here in the microscopy core. So the Hilde Mangold house is ideally located to collaborate with people in the signal house, but also in the bio three and bio two. 100 years after Hilda Mangold's groundbreaking experiments, the research building named after her provides an ideal environment for Freiburg signaling scientists to make new and exciting discoveries. Music